We're going to show you how to replace the check spring on your rotary check spring assembly. Uh, for this you'll need a 1 16th Allen wrench and a small flathead screwdriver. To replace the check spring, the first thing we have to do, they're about 4 o'clock here on the face of a clock. Um, you're going to find a 1 16th Allen screw. You're going to put your Allen wrench in there. Just rotate it, loosen it just enough to where you can pull your rotary tension assembly out. Uh, we're going to replace the check spring in the rotary check spring assembly. We've already removed it from the machine. Uh, the first thing we need to do is loosen this black screw. It's on the side of the barrel and it could be a little bit tight. We want to break it loose and then slide this assembly apart and lay this to the side for a moment. There's a, a spring up in here. Normally uh, you would be replacing this because this spring is broke. Um, we're, we've got a good spring in it. Um, but you'll just pull your old one out. To replace it you would get a new spring. You, want to, you notice this slot right here in it. You want to put your outside angle of that spring in. Just bring it in, twist it around and pop it right in. That spring has a little piece of wire sticking up right there. This mechanism that you pulled off earlier has a little groove. That groove goes over that wire so you want to kind of line those up when you slide it back together. And when you've got it slid all the way in you'll notice that at the bottom of this it's all the way bottomed out. So once we've got it, we know we're all the way in, we're in the, it, that spring is in the groove. You want to twist this clockwise. You want to twist your right hand or your white knob clockwise until that spring bumps again the edge of the slot. And you want to count like bicycle spokes or, or windows, whichever way you want to look at it. It looks like bicycle spokes on one side of that wheel. You want to count, once you bumped against it, you want to count one, two, three, and hold tension and tighten your black screw. And that's how you replace the check spring and set the tension on the check spring. We have adjusted the tension on the check spring. We're now going to replace the rotary check spring assembly back into the machine. You want to slide that in. You want to note the location of the bottom of this U of the spring. We'll call that a U. The bottom of that U should be approximately halfway between these two thread guides, and which would put it about 10:30, 11 o'clock on the face of a clock. You want to note that you don't shove it in too deep or this spring will not work up and down. So you want to pull it out and see just a hair of this metal sleeve of that barrel showing. Make sure you're about halfway between these two, about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. We have uh, positioned the rotary check spring assembly into the machine. Now we just want to reposition our Allen wrench, the 1 16th Allen wrench we removed the screw with earlier and tighten up the assembly. And that's how you replace the rotary check spring in your rotary check spring assembly.